great day today. This is my OFW Running Chronicles. Today is January 26, 2017, my day 13th of my restart. Thank you for watching again and subscribing. I haven't <laughs> asked people to subscribe, so please do subscribe on this uh, YouTube page. And to, this is my new day's resolution. If this is the first time that you uh, saw this video, my new day's resolution, and I'm focusing on the step one, the sand. I keep on grinding on the sand, keep my uh, feet dirty and do the work, work and work. But I have in mind my big goal, which is to be healthy. And the challenge is to do it 365 days of 2017. I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> Welcome back. This is JP Aden again, and I've been walking around for uh, an hour around Hong Kong Disneyland. Let me show you. There you go. This is where I work. And as I've walked, I've realized something that everything that we want to do, we don't do it because of fear. And I've read about a book from Simon Sinek. Sinek. Uh, it's uh, Start With Why. That... You have to train your body. You have to train your body how to react. Earlier, I walked with uh, my wife and she told me, I think I like banana now. <laughs> Before, she doesn't like banana, to eat banana. But now she likes banana. So the habit of doing it every day, at first you don't like it, and then you get used to it, and then you learn to love it. So she has trained her body or her system to to like or love a banana now, right? Because it makes sense, it's, it's, it's healthy, right? So for us, we are afraid to do something, to get out of a comfort zone because we are scared. But if you actually try it, it, won't be, it will be uncomfortable at first and then you'll get used to it and then you will learn to love it. And as long as the reason for it is to, like for the banana is to be healthy, the reason for it is to for example, as an OFW, to go home, right? Go into a business. At first, it'll be uncomfortable. You'll make mistakes. You'll fail at first. 90, 90%, 95%, 98% of uh, first, uh, first-time business people fail. But you'll get used to it. You do it again, and then you learn to love it. And then you'll be successful, right? Of course, chase the dream, not the money, right? Now, what his example is, uh, Simon Sinek's example is, there's also a video of it on YouTube that when Olympic people, Olympic uh, athletes are asked in interviews, were you nervous before or after the, the whatever they're doing, before they run, before they swim? Are you nervous? And they would automatically say, no. But they're telling the truth because they have trained their body that they're excited. When you are nervous, you get sweaty hands, sweaty, sweaty forehead, sweat, you're sweating, you're sometimes shaking, your, your armpits are sweating, right? But then, when you get excited, it's the same thing. So your body does not know if it's excited or nervous. It's just sweating, shaking, or your armpits are sweating also. Your, 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 your heartbeat is pumping very, very fast. So it's the same thing. So you just have to train your body to know that you are excited. Tell your body that you're excited. At first, you'll get uncomfortable. You say it's like you're, you're just uh, fooling yourself, but no, it's not a trick. It's actually magic. It's not a trick. And then you'll get used to it. And then eventually you'll love the feeling that whenever you're doing something uh, at first, you think you're nervous, but say you're excited. And eventually, if you keep on practicing it every day, do it and do it. You're, you're excited, you're excited. Whenever there's something challenging, you get excited. <laughs> so, and then fear will have been managed, right? Fear is like a driver driving you not to do it, right? So don't let go of the fear, but accept the fear 
and make the fear not the driver. Put the fear on the passenger seat and you hold the wheel. You hold the steering wheel, right? You hold it and let fear watch you. <laughs> That's funny. Let fear watch you, but he's not in control. You are. And in this habit of, of doing uh, good habits to make your life better, or go, as an OFW to go home for good, do these habits, do not be fearful. Let fear be your, at the passenger seat and drive it, drive your life to success. Whatever your the definition, of, definition of success is to you. This is a bit long video, but it's fun. I'm excited. <laughs> and if I can do this, you can too. <laughs>